Welcome to my first budget of 2021. Have you guys missed me? I missed you guys. I miss budgeting. I started off very well, remember, in 2020 budgeting, and then March hit and everything hit the fan, and I think everybody just did whatever they wanted to do in 2020, basically, after that. So we are here with our January 2021 budget. I am going to get back serious with my budget. I have fell off a little bit. I have messed up a little bit, not as much as I could have. I think the damage that I did is very minimal um, based on the things that happened in 2020 so the first thing i wanted to update you guys on um for 2020 uh what happened in 2020 was y'all know i reached my ten thousand dollar i don't even know if i told y'all i reached my ten thousand dollar goal um in my emergency fund in 2020 and i am four thousand dollars negative in my emergency fund okay so let me explain um i took twelve hundred dollars out of my emergency fund to pay for my new washer and dryer you guys if you're new here my washer and dryer did go out in 2020 and so i bought a new set and that was part of what i used my emergency fund for and the second thing i used my emergency fund for was i took two thousand dollars out of my emergency fund to start a business yes i started a business that will be launching january of this year and you'll hear about it in some of my other videos um actually you'll hear about it in my first vlog which went up today january 1st is when i'm recording this i think you'll see this on january 2nd though um and so i did that to start a business and so basically i have six thousand seven hundred and ninety one dollars left in my emergency fund so i did quite spend four thousand dollars but i'm going to take that seven hundred and ninety one dollars and actually transfer it into my main checking account to um next week when everything opens back up and i am going to um use that money to pay off some debt that i have acquired yes i have acquired some debt it's not much it's not it's not a lot at all um i think i did really really good for all the retail therapy that i did in 2020 and i just basically used most of my extra cash to pay for it um that i probably should have been saving most of it is the money that i would have had in my cash envelopes or whatever that i spent which was like 500 dollars a month so yeah i used all that up plus some and you guys know i did finish my renovations for 2020 so i did get the shed and i did get the laundry room done um the laundry room looks amazing the shed is a shed and don't can't look amazing. it's just shed okay <laughs> and then those were only renovations that I believe I did in 2020. I wasn't really big on after the pandemic hit and everything went down like it went down. I had no motivation to do nothing around here. I could have had done so much stuff if I was motivated. I'm more motivated when I'm out doing stuff, when I have to stay at home and do stuff. It's just some reason my motivation just fly out the window. So motivation in 2020 was a struggle bus. Okay, it was a struggle bus for me. Um, so yes, so we are going to work on a 2021 budget. I do have some money left over from December 2020. And the reason being is that I am a month ahead in my bills. If you're new here, I did start budgeting in 2017 and have been budgeting using a modified version of the Dave Ramsey since 2017. So the reason why I have money to roll over is because today I did get my stimulus check um, deposit into my account so I guess that's really January 1st whatever and then I also have this month's bill January bills sitting in the bank to pay January bills if you don't know I do not live paycheck to paycheck I am a month ahead in my bills which means January pay paychecks pays for February bills February paycheck pays for March bills and so on and so forth and that's one of the best things I could have ever done. I love being a month ahead and already just having the money in there. Don't have to worry about it. You can just let money pile up in a, in a allocate it where I need it to be before the month even gets here. So I don't want this to be too long. So we're going to go ahead and start with my January budget. And then we'll do like what I have in my sinking funds and all that kind of stuff. So you guys can kind of see where I am. Not where I should be, but we're not going to talk about that. Okay, let's go. All right. So the first thing is, of course, we have January. So my income that I anticipate having this month, which is including the rollover, is the $4,779.61. Um, my mortgage is still the same. Alabama Power did go down a little bit. These two categories I have taken down. I used to allocate $15 to my gas bill. My gas bill is no more than $10, like $9 something every single month. So I 
took that down to ten dollars and then my water bill is usually never over thirty five thirty dollars i used to have it at thirty five so i took it down to thirty at&t is still the same advanced disposal just got bought out by another company so i don't know when the next bill is coming out or how much it's going to be so hopefully it's no more than 38 dollars that i've been paying and then charter has gone up five dollars with a little raggedy sale so now i'm paying almost 80 dollars for freaking internet and it's the only internet i can get out here so i have no other choice and they know that that's why they don't care um and then vivid my alarm system is 5149 and then geico is 257.80 so my all of my Fixed expenses are $1,400 a month, okay? And then my student loans went up to $289.99. Um, you know, I am on the loan forgiveness and it's also income driven. So every year when I make more money, they charge me more. Well, Fargo is $136.12. This should be the last month that I have to pay this well, Fargo. So you guys don't know or don't remember, well, Fargo is the furniture that I bought for my house. So my bedroom suit, my living room suit, and my son's um, bed in his room and mattress so yes that is what that is and you'll notice i have a regions a paypal a belk a citibank and a best buy card and so those are all just left open right now and i'm going to put money on them soon so i'll show you what that looks like in a minute and then we have our um in sinking fund so so far i'm putting a hundred dollars in my emergency fund and um these are the sinking funds are still the same the only thing that changed is amari rose which is my new business and so um i added that line but other than that everything else here is the same and then groceries i have one i took away commissions for Jalen. Jalen didn't make no commissions last year i don't anticipate her making any commissions this year so i decided to choose that for lawn care and start saving now to pay my lawn guy $60 every two weeks. But I'm just going to save $60 a month right now. And at least I'll be a little bit ahead um, whenever it's time to get my lawn done. And then I don't have any anticipations for, you know, being over. So I have $2,249.88 to budget um, so far. Actually, no, I don't. That's not supposed to be there. Sorry. $2,349.88 to be budgeted. But first, we're going to go and look at my sinking funds. So right now, my sinking fund, I have depleted most of my sinking funds. I have $160 in my sinking funds. In my Mari Rose business account, I have $58. And then in my emergency fund, you see I have $6,000. So that is how much money I have in my sinking funds at this point. And then my debt balance so far, I am in debt, consumer debt, $3,441.41. So hopefully it will be reduced by this amount real quick and this amount, uh, not that amount, but this amount, my Wells Fargo should be paid off this month. And then about $50 of Citibank should be paid off this month. Now I do put this stuff on my credit card, but I don't pay interest. I pay my credit cards off every single month. So unless there is zero interest, I pay them off every single month and make sure that I don't pay them a lick of interest. I haven't paid interest since I had credit cards and I don't plan to, okay? So let's go back to January and let's budget out our money, okay? So Wells Fargo, we're gonna take this away and we're going to pay the balance of Wells Fargo, which is, what was it you guys? No, sinking debt balances, which was this, this amount right here. I just logged in there today and they was like, that's how much you owe. So that's how much we finna pay Wells Fargo. Uh, I don't want it to do that. Why is it so big? One, two, six, nine, point, twenty, four. Okay, I'm gonna delete that. All right, so that's what we're gonna pay for Wells Fargo. I know for Citibank, I have to pay them $50 this month to not pay interest. I think my best buy is like $30. I'm gonna pay $50 on it. And then, so what are we down to? I haven't thought this through. 
$16.76. So we need to fund some stuff. Let's see what we're going to do. So how much do I owe PayPal? Oh, PayPal, this amount. Oh, that $700 from my emergency fund is going to pay PayPal. So I'm not going to worry about PayPal until that's transferred. When that transfer, we'll do PayPal. So actually, I'm going to go back then and take that money. This money here, and put zero. And I'm going to take whatever this is, $166.76. $166.76. And pay that off. Um, regions, I'm gonna hide because it is don't have any money. Belt doesn't have any money on it. These are the only ones that have money sitting on there, and this should go away soon. Yay! I'm so excited. Actually, my student loans are not due until February, and so I already have the money for January. So this would be for March, I guess. So, all right. So we're going to start filling some of these envelopes. So we definitely need to put $100 in Christmas. Start saving for Christmas, y'all. I'm going to give myself $50. Give the kids $20 a piece. And let's see. Home maintenance. I did get a refund check from my escrow. So I'm going to put that refund check money in there. It was like $138 and some change. I'm just going to round up to $140. I need to put some money in car maintenance because I think car maintenance is coming up soon. We're at $500. Mm. I don't know what kind of fun we could have in summertime, but okay. Uh, put $50 in there. And then life happens, we'll put $50 in there too. So we got car maintenance, life happens, home maintenance, birthdays, we don't need any clothes. They got plenty of clothes. So do I. Summer fun. Um, each of them, me, school supplies. Let's just put $20 in there. And see YouTube, none of them gets funded. What are we left with? $400. All right, let's put $200 in our emergency fund then. Or you know what? Better yet, we're going to not... See, I don't want to take the money out and then transfer it back. So maybe I'll leave $200 in there and then it'll already be in there. And we can take this $200 uh, and put it uh, on PayPal and add the rest to, of it to it when I transfer it over. Let's do that. Okay, so we'll do that and that'll account for that and we'll just go back to sinking funds and make this sixty two hundred dollars sixty two hundred dollars there we go all right and what are we left with you guys we still have two hundred dollars left two hundred dollars left i'm trying to think of anything else that i need to do i don't really know i'm so bad at this <laughs> I have been budgeting so long, you guys. Okay, well, you know what? Let's put $100 in travel and $100 in vacation. Let's do that. Maybe one day we'll actually go on a vacation. All right, so we are budgeted down to zero, you guys. We have given every dollar a name. So that is the end of my budget for this month. And we're going to move on to stuffing my cash envelope. Guys, so you know, this is where the, the actual... Sorry for the shaking. I gotta still get my shit together. But anyway, so one, we're gonna count out our money. We should have $585 and I'm missing $10, so I'll get that later, okay? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and one, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200 dollars in 10. And I'm actually gonna change my denominations now that we're not doing commissions with Jalen because 
I did those dominations for her and I didn't even think about it until I decided not to give it to her anymore. Then we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 160, and 20s. And then we have 51, 52, and 50s. Okay, you guys. And then you remember my cash envelope wallet, which is a Kate Spade wallet. And I'm still using my black and white one right now. And I'm gonna take out my cash envelopes out. So this is how it looks. So we have personal spending. And these are just my little dividers. Dining out, groceries, fuel, household, fun money, and lawn. Okay. So we're just gonna start stuffing everything. I'm gonna change this to lawn care when I get a chance. So let's, we'll stuff lawn care last. Okay. <laughs> so for my personal spending, I get $50. We're gonna do two 20s. Two 20s and a 10, so we have 20, 40, 50. Personal spending. And then for dining out, we have 50, so 20s and let's do 10, 20, 30, 40, 5, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Okay, so we're gonna have 10, 20, 30, 40, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. We're dying out. Okay. And then groceries, you know, we do 200 and I do $50 a week. So we have 51, 50, $200 in groceries. And then for fuel, we're doing 160. Even though I don't spend 160 in fuel, we're just gonna keep putting it in there. We'll see how big it gets. And if I need to modify it as the months or weeks and months go on, because I will start going back to work two times a week. I think in February, right now I'm only going one time a week. So it's saving me a lot of gas, but it'll eventually build back up. So I'm just gonna save as much gas money as I can. 20, 40, 60, 80. One, and then we do 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Okay, so we have 20, 40, 60, 80, one, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. So 160. Yes, okay, and then for household, we do 20 and five, so we're just gonna do 10, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. And then for fun money, it's 50. So I'm going to leave 10, 20, 30, 40, 5, 50. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 5, 50. $50 of fun money. And then this is gonna be lawn care, which is gonna get 10 more dollars. I'm just gonna have to get it out of the bank. And I guess I need to put, I forgot, I need to put that in my unbudgeted section. So we're short $10 because I just budgeted zero balance. So somebody's gonna get less than $10 in one of those sinking funds. It'll probably be the travel fund because we're probably ain't going traveling no time soon. So I'll get $10 out of the bank later. So we have 20, 30, 40, and 50. And then we'll add another 10 later. And so those are my envelopes, all stuff for the month of January in 2020. I'm so excited to finally be getting back on my budgeting. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any more videos from me. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Okay.